board certified radiation oncologist with SSM Medical Group and St. Louis Cyberknife, Dr. John Bedwinek joins us with an important topic, prostate cancer and the benefits of treating it with the Cyberknife robotic radio surgery system. Welcome back to Show Me St. Louis, doctor. Glad to be here. So what are some risk factors that might increase a man's chance of being diagnosed with prostate Having cancer? Having a strong family history, particularly a first degree relative with prostate cancer and being African American. African Americans have a much higher risk of prostate cancer and it's much more aggressive in African Americans. It's so important for people to know the signs and symptoms of prostate cancer. Well, you know, there really aren't any signs and symptoms uh, and that's what makes the PSA so very valuable. I didn't know that, oh my gosh. Most, the most symptoms that people get, such as urinary urgency and frequency, that's just due to an enlarged prostate, which happens to all of us older guys. But if you have signs and symptoms that are actually due to cancer, that means the cancer is very far advanced and probably is not treatable. So the only way to pick it up is to get your PSA. Okay, good to know. Now, what are the current statistics for prostate? Um, it depends on the risk category. We break it up into different risk categories. You know, very bad aggressive prostate cancer and the other end of the spectrum is very slowly growing. We no longer treat the slowly growing uh, prostate cancers. But even in the higher risk categories, we expect cure rates with um, uh, multimodality treatment um, around 80 to about 80 percent. What is CyberKnife? Uh, CyberKnife is a linear accelerator. It's a way of delivering radiation, and it's a very precise type of radiation. Uh, it's a linear accelerator on a robot arm. So what happens is at each treatment, this linear accelerator shoots radiation beams at multiple angles. And right. each treatment consists of 100 to 200 beams. And this process of having all of the beams converge at the target creates a dose distribution that, if you will, literally shrink wraps to the tumor. So that the target receives a high dose and a few millimeters away, the dose drops off dramatically and I guess that's where they get the term cyber knife it's like you're cutting it with a knife and this was developed initially for tumors in the brain where you had to spare very elegant or, or very uh, important sure. br brain tissue and you know the optic nerve um, but it's now used in a number of other cancers prostate being one of them so that's how it treats prostate cancer right how does it compare to conventional radiation therapy um, it's never been compared to conventional radiation in a head-to-head -head trial in terms of outcomes, uh, but we know that for the uh, earlier or low-risk prostate cancers, the 10-year disease-free survival or cure rate, if you will, is in the 90s. Um, it compares more favorably to conventional radiation in terms of the side effect profile. It has a very a favorable side effect and complication profile. That is to say there are very few side effects with it. Okay, we have about probably about 30 more seconds. Anything else you want people to know? Um, men should get PSA screening annually. That's very important. Wow, there's so much on that topic. It's so interesting. Take it up in another time. Yeah, well, thank you so much, doctor, for joining us. And you can find more information by giving a call to the number on your screen or visiting stlouiscyberknife.com.